In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change your default browser for Jupyter Notebook. So hey guys, it's Vishwet. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So let's get started. So while I was using Jupyter Notebook, I always used to wonder that how I can change my Jupyter Notebook browser because the Jupyter Notebook, like when I type the command, it opens the default browser that was present. So if I have set Chrome as my default browser, it opens Chrome. If I had Edge set as my default browser, it opens Microsoft Edge. So I always wondered that I have, I am working, I have my Chrome open, that is just for browsing, but I want to have a different browser specific to Jupyter Notebook, okay? So I came to know that there is a way we can do it. It's pretty simple and I'm going to show you how you can do it. So. I will just go to my desktop. So I have created a folder called as programming, right? So I will show you how to set up your virtual environment, install a notebook and uh, change the default browser. Okay. If you want to, if you are already familiar with this process, you can just go ahead and directly jump into the part where I am just changing the default browser. Okay. So as per my knowledge, my default browser is set to as Google Chrome. Uh, how can you verify that? It's very open. If we just open our Jupyter Notebook, it will open the default browser. Uh, and by default, it will open the default browser. So if I just do open in terminal. OK, so I'm going to set up Jupyter Notebook first. So if I just type Python minus M notebook. You can see Jupyter Notebook is not installed. It is saying no module named notebook. Okay. So I'm not using Conda over here. If anyone is familiar with Conda, I'm not using Conda. Okay. The process will work same for Conda. Okay. So in this case, I have to set up the virtual environment. So I will do Python VENV. It is actually Python minus MVENV, VENV. And it should take some time. Okay, it's done. So I'll just activate the environment. This command will differ from system to system. Okay. So this command will work perfectly for uh, people on Linux and for people who are using Git bash on Windows. If you are using a MacBook, what you have to change is instead of typing source VNB slash script slash activate, you just need to have bin over here. So the command for Mac will be source vnv slash bin slash activate. Okay. And for PowerShell or for Windows user, I should say, uh, just use this particular command. You don't need to type source. Okay. Now what you have to do is uh, you have to install Jupyter Notebook because it does not, it is not going to install the notebook automatically for yourself. We just have pip installed over here. So I'll use, I will just install Jupyter notebook. So pip install Jupyter. Actually, it's not pip install Jupyter. It's pip install notebook. So now we don't have to type Jupyter notebook or Jupyter lab like that. It's just Jupyter, it's just notebook in this case. So it should not take much time because the files are already downloaded in my case, but it might take some time for you. So maybe give it a few seconds, 10, 20 seconds. And as you can see, it is now installed. I know people doesn't like to look at the bottom of the screen. So I'll, I'll make this in the middle. Okay. So control L and it's cleaned up. So now, I believe I have installed Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so if I do Python minus M Notebook, now it should open the default browser. Okay, see, it opens the default browser for you. In some cases, in some cases, it might ask you for the first time what browser you want to open, like Chrome, Edge, some, like it's, it gives you an option. Okay, but Trust me, the next time when you when you uh, just run the notebook command, it opens your default browser. So 
you can see it is fine it opens the default browser now the thing that i want to do is i want to change my default browser to something else maybe to edge or firefox let's use firefox in this case so the next thing that you have to do is you have to download firefox okay just get firefox you can use anything any browser any browser like opera brave anything works just fine just download that particular program and what you have to do is you have to come and search for firefox okay so i can see if i can see firefox is at the top okay so i'll just right click over here i'll go to more i'll go to open file location okay sometimes you need to type it out okay i can see firefox is not coming over here okay sometimes you have to type it out and if i do right click open file location okay so it opens this particular point which is your start of programs okay so i can see there are three browsers that are present right uh, edge chrome firefox i just need to pick any one now in case if your program is not present over here and you happen to use windows for some quite some time so the programs everything are installed in c programs okay high chances are they are present in c program files somewhere over here so you can see my firefox resides over here okay so for chrome and for edge the location may vary okay just do a search i should say you can get firefox easily over here but for some case but it's not coming for me so anyways i will just i since i have firefox installed just now so it it is popping up at the top so i can just do uh, open file location so i can see my firefox over here now i'll just do right click properties and here is the complete target c program files slash firefox that firefox that x e i just need this part so i'll copy this with me okay i just need this executable path now what i need to do is this server i don't i need to close the server so i'll just close the server uh just type control c okay not to type like press control c and it closes the server and there is a command that you have to type let me clear the screen jupyter server minus minus generate minus config and okay did i just type that it's server okay and you can see it is saying me this i'll just overwrite it okay it it might not say you it might just say uh writing default config to this in your case since i already have a config present it was asking me anyways just ignore this part so of in your case it will be just showing this right writing default config to c users vishwajit i mean your name your username and the particular path so i will go to this particular path c users vishwajit okay so it is actually present over here right so you can see i'm already okay let me show you how you can come see users shojit okay when you can come to jupiter fine this is the particular path right so what you can do you can just open this path with an editor i'll be opening with visual studio code now there is something i want you to okay let me close this there is something i want you to search which is u dot server it's actually capital s server okay why can't i find this because it's not u it's actually c c dot server okay let me type something more server app dot browser this is something that i wanted to show you so here in line number 226 i can see this is present the line number will vary depending upon this uh, version of config 
okay in the future this might go up this particular line might, might go up or go down anyway it doesn't matter so what we have to do is copy this part okay so here you can see you, you can read specify what command to use to invoke the web browser web browser when starting the server if not specified the default browser will be determined by the web browser standard library module which allows setting of the browser environment variable to override it anyways it this is explanatory but what we have we will do i hope we have this particular thing open c program files mozilla firefox slash firefox.exe just paste this over here and you have to do something different that is instead of forward slash i mean instead of backward slash you have to type forward slash forward slash forward slash and you have to put percentage s over here that's it that's all you need to change save this make sure to save this okay i just save this and then you close your vs code close this i don't need anything more i have so many things opened i'll just close everything okay now now when i just type python minus m notebook you can just use the up up arrow key to go to the previous command but if i do this it should open firefox for me and you can see it is opening firefox for me this is mozilla firefox right so likewise you can set up edge you can set up brave you can set up chrome you can set up any browser you want to use so like completely upon your choice and this particular perfectly works so if i open notebook it just asks me to select a kernel i will just select uh, select something shift l and i am already in import os os dot uh, list dir and see it's working perfectly fine okay and that's how you can change your default browser for Jupyter Notebook. Now, this does not affect your operating system's default browser. So if I go to default apps, okay, you can see my default browser is set to as Microsoft Edge. Okay, that is a little bit strange because Chrome opened most of the time. But yeah, my web browser is something else. Okay, and Jupyter Notebook opened something else firefox in this case so this is how it works so i think that's it for this video and if you like this video please do give a thumbs up and i'm going to see you in an awesome upcoming programming video